Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli Connect. In today's video, we are going to learn how to add leads from Facebook leads to Zoho CRM, Brevo and Interact. Now we want that whenever a new lead is generated through Facebook lead ads, automatically that person should be added in our Zoho CRM in the form of lead. And the same person should also be added in the form of a new contact in our Brevo account. And at last we also want to create a new user in our Interact account. And for this we want to automate this process. And for that we are going to integrate all these applications by using Paply Connect. How we are going to do that? For that we have Facebook lead ads in our trigger, Zoho CRM, Brevo and interact in our actions. And to learn this full process, let me take you all to my screen. To start with the process, first we have to search pably.com in our browser. And as we do that, it will take us towards the landing page of Pably Connect. Here we can find three options, products, sign in and sign up for free. So if you are a new user, you can click on sign up for free to create your free new account in just two minutes. Because I am already an existing user, therefore I am clicking on sign in. Now we have to click on access now option given on Pably Connect. And now we are on the dashboard of Pably Connect. So we can find all our workflows here. And to create a new workflow, we have to click on create workflow option given on right corner. Now it's asking us to provide it a name. So according to our workflow, I am giving it a name as Facebook leads to Zoho CRM to send in view to interact. And now we'll click on create. And as we do that, it has provided us with a workflow which contains trigger and action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are basically the principle on which entire workflow of any automation works. In any workflow, we can have only one trigger, but we can have multiple actions. So let's start with our trigger. Let's select our trigger application first, which will be Facebook lead ads. Click on it. And now we have to select our trigger event, which is new lead. So we'll click on it and now we have to click on connect. Now it is asking us two options, add new connection or select existing connection. So we'll click on add new connection. Then we have to click on connect with Facebook lead ads. And as we do that, we can see that our authorization is successful. That means Facebook lead ads is successfully connected with Pably Connect. Now what we are supposed to do, we have to select a page which, which we want to connect. So I want to connect page Pably, select it. And the next is lead gen form. So we'll select our form. So I have created one form for this particular workflow, which is named as Pably. Let me show you that. So here we can find this is the form which I have created for this workflow. So we will fill the dummy details in this form to submit the response. Now we have to click on save and send test request and we can see it is showing waiting for response. That means we have to do a test submission in order to capture the response over here. So we'll do the test submission first. So let's fill the first name demo and the last name is lead email will be and let's enter dummy mobile number also. And then we have to click on next and submit. Now we will check whether we have received the response or not. So yeah, we can see that we have successfully received the response with the same details which we have filled in the form first name last name email and phone number so let's move further for the action step so let's select our action application which is zoho crm so we'll click on this and now we have to select our action event which is create lead so we'll click on find or create lead and then we have to click on connect now it is asking us two options add new connection or select existing connection so we'll click on add new connection and then we have to click on connect with zoho crm now it is asking us domain so from where we are going to find our domain so for that we have to go on our zoho crm account and here we can see that i am currently working in zoho.in so this is our domain so what we are supposed to do we have to go on Pably connect and then we have to select our domain from here from these given options and then we have to simply copy it from here and paste it now we'll click on save and now we have to click on accept after that we can see that our authorization is successful. That means Zoho CRM is successfully connected with Pably Connect. Now we have to map these fields one by one. So let's start with trigger. So I want to add trigger as approval. Now because we have not entered some of these details in our form submission in Facebook lead ads. So for now we are ignoring some of these details. If you want to add, you can definitely add them. Now I am directly moving on the first name. So let's map first name. So our first name is demo and the last name is lead uh, and the email done and the phone number and rest one more mandatory field which is annual revenue so let us give a annual revenue let's suppose 
suppose i'm giving 15 lakh and here we can give city name also let's say bhopal the state name country and the zip code done now we'll simply click on save and send test request and we can find that our status is success that means we have successfully created the response in our zoho crm so let's check whether we have received one lead or not so here from the lead section we can find that the new lead is created over here from the same details we have submitted in our facebook lead generating form so let's move further now let's add one more action step for that we have to click on the plus sign given over here and now our next action step is to create a new contact in our brevo account with the same details which we have received in the form submission of facebook lead ads as you all know that the new name of send in blue is now brevo so we'll choose in our action application brevo here click on it and then we have to click on create or update contact click on connect and now we have to click on add new connection so now it is asking two things domain api key so again we have to find our domain from brevo account so we are working in brevo.com so we can see that our domain is brevo.com only so let's move on to api key so from where we are going to find our api key for that we have to again go on our brevo account so let's go and from the right corner we have to go on smtp and api and we have to click on api keys and then we have to click on generate a new api key so let me give some initials here and we can we have received one api key so we'll copy it down from here okay and then we have to paste it over here click on save and our brevo account is also successfully connected with pably connect now we have to map these details over here so first it is asking for email so let's map email and and the next is list so i want to create a new contact in new fb leads only so we'll select it and and now it is asking us last name so let's map the last name and our last name is lead and now it is asking for for the first name so let's map first name also and i think done so we'll click on save and send test request now we have to check whether we have received this response in the brevo or not so we have to go from the left hand side we have to go on our contacts and here we can find that we have received the response in the form of a new contact with the same details which we have entered in our form so done so now let's move further for the last action step for this we have to click on plus sign and now we have to choose our action application so our la last action step is to add a new user in our interact account with the same details which we have received from facebook leads so what we are supposed to do we have to select our action application which is interact now we'll click on it and now the action event which is create or update user click on connect and now we have to click on add new connection and now it is asking us for the secret key so from where we are going to find our secret key so for that we have to go in the settings section in our interact account so let's move from here from here we can find the settings section click on settings and now we have to go on developer setting and see we can find our secret key over here we'll copy it and now we have to paste it over here click on connect now further we have to map these details one by one so let's start first it is asking us the country code so in india we have our country code as 91 so let's enter plus 91 and now we have to map the phone number so we have to use this field only when our phone number is separated with the country code so here our phone number is combined it contains the country code so that's why we are using this field over here to add the phone number okay see it is with country code so we'll click on it and then we have to give the user traits so so we have to give the user traits in key and value pair in this format and if we are using any integer we do not have to use the double quotes in the integers so i am going to give my user trait as each double quotes colon and let's say i am giving the age of the lead as 26 okay so we have to click on save and send test request now and we can find that our response is successful now we have to check whether we have received a new user in interact or not so from the left hand side we have to click on users and we can see that a new user is added in our interact with the same details which we have submitted in our form so this was the full workflow
uh, now let's summarize what we have done so we have created a workflow with facebook lead ads in trigger and zoho crm brevo and interact in our action so what will happen whenever a new lead will be generated through facebook lead ads in the through form submission automatically automatically that particular lead will also be created in zoho crm in the form of lead and automatically a new contact will be created with the same details in our brevo account and at last a new user will also be created automatically in our interact account so this was the full workflow and these were the steps which we are required to follow in order to build an integration between these applications. So this was it in this video. I hope this helped. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can easily integrate many other applications by using Pably Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can easily email us at support at the If you want to ask any query, you can easily reach out to us at forum.pably.com. And if you are having any pricing related issue with Pably Connect, you can easily reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel to learn more such automation.